mean, what's the plan? What's the strategy in Indonesia? Because it's a solid and a great market for you. Yeah. But then again, it is getting quite crowded with the consolidation. How are you, how are you coping with that? And how are you positioning there? Yeah. No, thanks for the question. Actually, and that's the reason why we made this, we announced this acquisition of uh, LinkNet, uh, which is a fixed broadband business. Uh, now, um, some headline statistics, uh, household penetration uh, is only 13.4%. Even by 2026, the, uh, the estimates is that that number will go to only 26%. And that is still a relatively low penetration. So what we're trying to do is pivot away from the traditional mobile business and bundle together with fixed broadband business as in um, a convergence proposition uh, for the population. So we believe this is the right strategy to go into Indonesia. Uh, yes, Indonesia is a big market to um, operate in. And yes, um, it will require a significant amount of investment in, 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 in the coming years. But we are optimistic of the opportunities in Indonesia. Okay, is it real quickly before we let you go? I mean, we talk to CEOs like yourself every day, and we ask this one fundamental question: that is, with all these worries about inflation, higher input costs, and pass through, etc. Do you feel? Does Oxiata feel? Uh, do you think you have pricing power right now? Is that being reflected in your margins and also in the, what you're uh, able to get out of each customer? Your ARPU, average revenue per user. Yeah, well, that's a very good question. Again, uh, this is a reality that all of us are facing. Now, uh, the good news is in this uh, economies that we're operating, it's very unlikely that the governments will raise interest rates. Yes, inflationary pressures are there, but um, interest rates are key to stimulating the economy and you know the economies uh, need to recover from the pandemic. So we think we have a window of uh, opportunity there as well. Um, insofar as our borrowings are concerned, we're locked in uh, for 67% of our debt. So that shouldn't be any uh, sort of uh, surprises when it comes to our interest costs. Uh, but in the, and we like to think that um, you know we've got the various uh, financial guardrails um, um, in place to make sure that uh, we can maintain the, the the yields. Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.